Maybe a superhero action game. That could be interesting. Or like a hunting action, hunting simulator. Hmm. I guess we could try superhero action, superhero young, everyone. Hmm. Just go straight up PC, everyone. I'm not sure about superhero action though. It's the thing. Maybe uh dance and rhythm. What was way back in the day? It was. I think it was pretty good. Way back, Jesus. How far back was it? Ooh. Second gear. Did I ever do third gear? I don't think so. Just taking a look real quick. No, I didn't. We could make third gear. Or try to, anyway. It wasn't... The f second gear wasn't overly popular. I don't think first gear was either, but... Just something. Type sales rank 39, not bad. We did profit from it. Yeah, we can try it. Racing sim. Uh, for the PC. It is going to be third gear. It is going to be a large game for everyone. With, I guess, MMO version 3? It's not going to be an MMO, though. We could try it, but I'd really rather not support it. We'll just go non-MMO. We'll use the MMO engine because it is a pretty good engine. And we did go large game, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we should be able to do the awesome 3D graphics for it then. Sure. Why not? Uh, over 1 million in sales. Awesome. It only took it... Uh, just past the second month to do it, but that's fine. I'm guessing this is probably going to be okay. Not so much story quests, mostly engine, gameplay. Uh, definitely a steering wheel, though. We can do a little more features because it's a large game. We need to focus more on engine for that. Alright, take off online play, that's a huge one. I would like to do multiplayer, though. And as far as story quest goes, advanced cutscenes, moral choices on the road, and a linear story, I guess. Why not? Cut gameplay just a little bit. Cut story quest just a little bit. There we go. We're good. We can't really add in much more there. That's fine. I think that'll be okay. Uh, and as far as people on things go, story quests, it's good. Samantha on gameplay, that's good. Ben on engine, uh, that's good. Go! Uh, fuck, Ben. Sarah. Adventure games are really popular, huh? That's too bad, Drew! There we go. Oh, I forgot I could, like, pause it with that and then start. I should do that next time. Then again, we're doing a large game, so I should really time it. Damn it. Well, that's fine. I wasn't too far off. Um, Sage 2. Level design, yes. AI, yes. Not very much dialogues. So voiceover, sure. Level design, yes. No loading screens, sure. Mini games, no. Dynamic environment, that'd be cool. With a level editor, yeah. We could try that. We'd have to cut AI a lot. No, oh, you shouldn't forget about AI. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we gotta get rid of something here. Uh, I guess get rid of the level editor, unfortunately. Bummer. That's like what our racing games have been known for, though. I'm pretty sure first and second gear both had level editors. Why would they remove that feature? We gotta keep it in. We'll figure it out.
I guess. We're really focusing on level design, not very much AI, but maybe that's still okay. Bradley on AI, that's fine. Aiden on level design. We don't have a level design person yet, but that'll work. And Bradley also on dialogues. We don't have a dialogue person? Oh man, okay. <sighs> I guess that'll be fine though. Bradley and Bradley, got it. Bradley and Aiden, go! Ahoy mate, dropping off! There it goes, 1.1 million units for 13 million in sales. And our console is about halfway-ish over. Tons of research points, still putting a little bit of money in the R&D lab just to make sure we get a constant flow of research points. It's a very nice thing, I very much enjoy that. Would love surround sound with an orchestral soundtrack? Oh my god, that'd be amazing. But we can't do it, so surround sounds and a soundtrack. Uh, graphics pretty much has to be maxed up. Stereoscopic 3D on top of that? Almost. Almost. And world design. Realistic weather would be awesome. <sighs> Alright, we're not making my own personal favorite racing game ever, though, so... I guess we'll throw on the features that don't really matter because there's nothing else we can really do. Rich backstory, can't imagine that being needed for a racing game. Could be wrong. Uh, yeah, no, I can't imagine it really, but that's fine. We'll throw it on, it's a feature. And then graphics and sound, focusing on those. Can't do orchestral soundtrack, as amazing as that would be. We just can't. And, well, we could if we went, like, maybe... Base. With stereo sound, we might be able to, but I'd really like to go surround sound and surround track. Uh, surround track? Surround sound with the soundtrack. Amazing graphics. Can't do stereoscopic either. Uh, that's really the stuff for AAA games. AAA games allow you to put in much more per category. But I think that that should be alright. I'm upset about the world design, but I'll deal with it, I think. <sighs> How close can I get? Not very. Yeah, no, okay. Fine, we'll put in rich backstory. Ugh. All right, graphics. Uh, we don't have a graphics person. We do have a sound person, and that's Warden. He's already on it. And then I got the other two things because I'm world design and we don't have graphics. So that's fine. Warden and I boost in together. Go. Damn, so many bubbles. So many bugs, too. This turned out to be a pretty good game, I think. It really helps when you got enough features that you can throw in that you can really cram it full, make it a full game. Like, as far as gameplay aspects go, like, uh, like graphics or a better example, like level design. I guess, where we crammed it in like as much as we could. We couldn't put a single more thing in there. Even some of the cheaper things we couldn't afford to put in there. Because it was just so full. Time to announce Yeti Box 2000 to the world? Ah! Uh, yes, actually. Yeah, go for it. Announce it. It's got decent graphics. Uh, let's see here. Planned as a successor to the Yeti Box 1, which had a moderate commercial success. Yes, it did okay. 
I'm not sure about total profits. I think it was probably a loss because it costs like 200 million to make. Because this is 3 million per month and it's been in production for a while now. All the bugs are fixed. Probably should have uh, told the world about this game, but that's fine. Generated 7 hype. We have over a million fans. I'm sure they'll buy it. They'll be like, oh wow, when this game come out. It'll be like Made of Hate's second album. They'll be like, wow, where'd this come from? And then you realize they changed the singer's style and it was like, eh, but you got used to it anyway because you love the guitarist. Just me? Might just be me. Dialogue's leveled, world design leveled, and Aiden got a raise. Congrats, Aiden. Realistic body language. Didn't we have body language already? Maybe not. <gasps> Triple A games? Mmm. Mm. Proving that we can make large games work. How about we see if we can make games that are so massive in scope and of such high quality that they will create an entire new label. To borrow a term for the finance sector, they will be triple A rated games or to borrow from the movie industry, true blockbusters. Go for it. Let's see how third year goes as far as, oh my god, 10 awesome from Star Games. Okay, we'll be able to pump money into uh, triple A game research. 10 best of its kind from Inform Gamer, a 10, everyone loves it from Game Hero, and... Bing! Perfect 10s. Look at that, who told me you couldn't get perfect 10s? Maybe you never used to be able to, I think maybe... Updates have come out, so maybe. Look at that though, perfect 10s! Oh, it's the best game ever! Alright, seriously, if this doesn't sell boatloads, perfect game, release a game with a clean score of 10. That's right. If this doesn't have a boatload of sales, yeah, 1.1 in the first week. Hmm, what's money? We don't even count that as an object anymore. Met with outstanding responses. Praise Third Gear had a newer engine than the original, really driving the tech- <laughs> Get it? Driving the technological- Whatever. Driving, because it's a racing game. Alright, can I make a, uh, a game for the platform that's almost out? No? Alright. Let's do some training then, because we got that kind of research points. Good surprises waiting for you in third gear. Progression in the story is just perfect. Just when you think, just when you start to think things settle down, something surprising will happen. It's a racing game, and we probably single-handedly normalized the uh, the market. They're like, "Whoa, screw those games! Check this out." Oh, that's right. Boost level 3. I was getting that with everybody. And I wasn't sure what to really make you. I guess design specialist? Yeah, why not? Go for it. Go for that game design course. Why not? 5 million in sales. Holy shit. I didn't even notice. Uh, Ben, train... I guess we go for programming. Try to get you maxed out, boost through it, although I don't think you need it. Uh, what are you missing here? Ah, uh, you need design and tech still. Well, game design course. You are also design. Let's actually go for speed for you. Your speed's a little low. And Bradley. You can go for speed, too. Wait, are you even training? What are you doing? Oh, you're researching... Oh, design specialist, that's right. I don't think you can boost through that. Oops. Oh, well. Game design course, quick! I don't think that worked at all. Oh, well. As far as I go, my stats are actually kind of sort of getting up there. Everything is at least 600. Uh... I kind of wonder, you really don't need a, well, early on, I guess you wouldn't need many research points. You should probably still have somebody with a good bit of research, but actually having everybody trained for research that I had done earlier, not really necessary because the R&D lab can get you so much. So I guess like up until the third stage, maybe go a little bit research. But after that, I guess you wouldn't really need it, but I don't really need to do that anymore. Project management, always good for speed. 
Design and tech, always good as well. I could go for speed, why not? Speed's cool. <gasps> the console's out. Really pushes the limits of technology. The most modern console ever to hit shelves. Really? Looking at the features of Yeti Box 2000, it seems that its list of ex is extensive, which is a good sign. It could lead to a wide variety of games becoming available. Build quality is excellent, will likely run for decades without issues. You think the console will stir up the market and prove to be very successful. Let's head to the hardware lab and cut their budget down to like 800k a month for the first few weeks. Keep an eye on it. Be sure to boost the uh, training there. Yeah. Keep an eye on it. As far as this goes, we can put more money into it. 2.7 a month, why not? We could try to make a triple A game for the uh for the console. I don't know if that'll work or not, but I could try it. I think somebody had said that as time goes on, the people need vacations less and less and less. Like they can go longer without a vacation. So I think that's what was maybe throwing me slightly adrift as far as conventions go. So I'm wondering if I can squeeze in a medium game real quick our own console is like a launch title thing then we'll go on vacation come back release a massive triple a game we can see uh what would we release for it though could go for a sports game actually i should get more topics let's go for just superhero action for everyone, just fuck it. Uh, Eddie saves the day. Yay. Action will be fine. For Yeti Box 2000, but 10% market share right off the bat. Awesome. Go it. And why not the MMO engine, even though we're not making an MMO. Not yet. Why not next? Oh. I deselected that on accident. There. Getting creative with the titles. Yep, 3D graphics, version 6. Absolutely. Ah, uh, nobody's got boost. That's fine. Ah, uh, now they're needing vacations. Oh, fuck, what a horrible launch title. I timed that so horribly wrong. <sighs> Good thing it's only a medium game, not a large or anything like that. This is going to be a shit launch title. All right, action game. Don't really need story in quite... Well, maybe a little bit. Let's get rid of linear story. Events cutscenes will be fine. Ooh, moral choices. We could make, like, Spec Ops the line. With superheroes, though. Um, not mod support or multiplayer. <laughs> Single player game only. No mouse support, no steering wheel support. I guess, and just cap it off. There we go. Engine needs help now. Ugh. Oh, I can't win. Really? Ah, there we go. Finally, pixel perfect balance. Okay. Got it. And everybody should be still be fine. Ben, Sam, and Drew. Not that it really matters. Nobody can boost. Third gear is off the market, sold 8.2 million units, generating 116 million in sales. Dang. Everyone needs vacation. That's fine. They don't need vacation. They're very much tired, but they don't need the vacation. We're going large booth because we got a console. We got a game. We're going places with this. This is going to be a launch title that's kind of rushed, but it's a launch title. Launch titles are always kind of iffy. Some of them are great, but most of the time they're kind of iffy. 
Um, especially recently, like the, the the new Wii console. The oh fuck, what's the real one called? I almost called it the Woo. Oh shit, the new Wii. Its launch titles were kind of iffy. AI, yes, it's an action game. Level design, yeah. Dialogues, not so much. Don't need a dynamic environment, although that would be awesome. Mini games. Oh god, no loading screens is huge. All right, we can't do that for our smaller games. Okay, take off mini games. We can work with that. We'll just cut AI a little bit. Dialogues, no voiceover. Maybe a little bit of voiceover. Maybe we can do that. We have to just murder AI. I think that'll be okay. It's not ideal. 95% across the board. I think that's fine. Bradley and Aiden should be fine. Aiden's got his. Got it. And then we'll all boost on the last stage. Oh, right, graphics, because it's a medium game. 3D graphics version 6 is really difficult to do. Oh, God. This game is not going to be good. Okay, got it. Our console, don't do medium games. Should really have put in a high-end 2D graphics. I think that's why 2D graphics still exists in the high levels, is because you can do really good 3D graphics or really good 2D graphics. And it's okay. Right, not, uh, let's just go stereo sound. Oh god, the sound is crap. World design. No open world. Day night cycle, though, yes. Rich backstory. Sure. There we go, 95%. Mostly focusing on graphics. Yikes. Boost, boost, boo. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the Armor and Guider game says console and that game. Hey, almost uh, 2 million. Just under. Good deal. Should be number one. Number one. Yes. And there we go. Everybody's kind of stressed, but they don't need the vacation again, like I said. Not exactly yet. Really soon, though. This is really pushing it. Should not have gone with a medium game. This is not going to do well. The points are really low compared to our previous game. Everybody was kind of stressed during it. Not many things were 100% in development. It was rushed. It's okay. We'll go on vacation, come back with a fresh mind, we'll make some awesome, large, giant MMO for it. Be okay to release it. I don't see any bugs coming up. New topping, new combo, great combo, and good management. 3D graphics version 6 leveled up, sound leveled up, Yeti leveled up, and Warden leveled up, as well as Engine. Bam, Legend! Reach level 10 with the character. Nice. Who, me? Oh, did Warden hit 10? Maybe I hit 10, Warden hit 9, I think. Advanced Physics. Right. In a bit. Oh boy, here's the reviews. Six, quirky but good. Not horrible, but not great. Our previous game was so much better than this one. That's fine. I will take sixes and fives. That is fine. I was expecting it to be like three and four. I haven't had a flop in a while, so I figured that was a good time for one. Looks like it's uh, slowed down there, the old backlog, so we can cut a little more. Bring it back to about 490 was pretty good for the last one. Already got 500,000, second week. It'll hit a million by the first month, I think. Yep, fourth week, one million. <sighs> Alrighty. Aiden, can you be an awesome person yet? No? Okay. Well, while everybody gets their boosts going, let's do some contract work. Movies, seven weeks, should be able to do that. 
do a little bit of contract work, get at least times two boost, maybe some times three with some people, and push out a pretty good large game for our console. I think our console can handle MMOs. Maybe. I'm not sure. Can consoles do MMOs? That seems weird to me. Maybe they can. Oh, there we go. Fun contract work. Easy dialogues. Rolling in the dough, almost at 500 million. Jesus. I was told also to research multi-genre. Um, I guess I could. There's really no reason not to, because I can just choose not to use it, I guess. But it's just, it's a little weird. When there's a trend match, at least it used to be back before the game was patched, it might have been fixed, but if the trend match was action, and it went with, like, action RPG, you wouldn't get the credit for it. At least I never did. So I was kind of like, eh, multi-genre is a bit strange. But could have been a bug, might have been patched, I don't really know. Wow, we finished that one quick. But I guess I could always just put it on. You don't have to use it. It is something that's just kind of thrown in. You don't make an engine for it, so... I guess I, I could. I could do it now, even. Why not? Bam, there it is right there. May as well. Do it. Uh, Aiden can't really do much as far as that goes. Just chill for a minute. Oh boy. Our research into AAA games is complete and we can now begin to create AAA games. A AAA game requires well-trained staff and it is best to have specialists in different areas to make sure the team does their best work. We do. When creating a AAA game, we can also use the R&D lab to develop a special marketing campaign, which greatly enhances the hype around the game. The hardware lab can also be used to develop special hardware products such as a keyboard, mice, and headsets that are sold with the game. Really? Develop peripherals. Uh, perhaps. Maybe I have to, I, I probably have to start the AAA game first. What, should we try a AAA game? I think we could. This could go horribly fucking wrong, but we almost have 500 million, so... A AAA MMO. Mm, this is gonna be huge, guys. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back in time. How far back in time? I'm not sure. The deepest, spaciest, I believe, was... We had one that was really good back in the day. Tons of profit. Um, income is what this one's called. 36 million on Orc Genocide. It sounds like a lot. Compared to today, it's not. Second Fantasy was huge. Yeti Space Foundation with 4 million. Yeti Sports, 4 million. Holy shit, second gear? Oh, I thought it said 600 million. I was like, what? I don't remember that. Alien Discovery. Never made another one of those. We could redo Yodeler Hero. A giant, massive AAA... <laughs> a AAA MMO music sim. The Game of Life. Did that do well? That did pretty well. Life sim. <gasps> yeah, actually. That'd be awesome. 